Well, a very good stormy morning to you. Storm jostling, I believe, as I film this anyway. Thank you, Mrs. H. She even makes simplistic things look <laughs> artistic, shall we say. Yeah, tulips from Amsterdam. So, we're going to use a... How are you, by the way? All right. I hope so. And um, I'm going to use this. I've had this many years. Musco Real. Uh, creme para Baber, so shaving cream. It's orange amber, very battered as you can see. Um, and I put some in uh, in that bowl there. I said to Mrs. H, I said, out of these few bowls, just pick a bowl for me. She grabbed that. <laughs> so I put some in there. Razor. I thought I'd use this for a change. Not to use this for a while. The, this is the Rockwell. And this is the 6C. I think this is a gun metal finish. Yeah, just slightly. You might not be able to tell on camera, but there's a. Now I'm using the, this is an adjustable razor. It comes with several plates, as you may be aware. So I'm going to use, if you can see, the number four plate, R4. Um, six, it goes up to six in all, so this is just above. Um, mid aggression in this razor. Can you hear that? Uh, it's right, the blade of choice, I've put it here somewhere, is a feather again, and this one is fourth, sorry, fifth use. Now you can see the gunmetal bit here, it's better than the base plate there. Maybe, I don't know, well, maybe you can't tell. So, fifth use. We can always make sure that's on four. You see, he's got R2 on the other side, and then whatever side is facing you, like that, is the uh, the plate you're using. So it's R4. If you didn't know that, no, I'm sorry, I've made a mistake. This is its fourth use, not fifth. Sorry. Hear that wind? It's about fifty to sixty mile an hour. Slight overhang to be aware of. We're going to use a pre shave. I'm going to use this Glyce Spiced Citrus Oil Soap again by Musco Real. Oh, I love the scent of this. And uh, so we'll wet this up and lather up, and uh, we may leave it on. And we're going to use the Paul H. Films Desk Cosmetic. This was the orange and black, or citrine, I think it's called, with the synthetic knot again. So we'll wet the face and uh, we'll uh, pre lather with this oil soap. Oh, that's, that's lovely. So we'll wet the soap like so. Don't need a lot. We'll lather this up now. Like we're having a wash. Leave it up there for a minute. Oh. If it doesn't fall back in the sink, of course. Right, just bear with me. You gonna stay there? That's it. You could shave with this alone. Maybe you like the sound of the storm, maybe. Uh, I was listening on the radio the other day after this last storm we've just had um, and I think in the northeast of Scotland must be in the Highlands or somewhere um, just wet the brush they recorded the highest recorded winds on the planet 
because normally they say the highest recorded in the UK since records began but this one was the highest recorded on the planet so whether it was out at sea on the coast must have been yeah it was on the coast northeast coast somewhere of uh, Scotland so I wouldn't like to have been there with that Whew. I'm just adding water as we go easy to lather I've had this many years so, uh, scent it is a it's this scent to me you think um, orange amber it's going to be citrusy there is a citrus hint to this uh, but there's also a how can I say yeah there's a citrus scent there and there's like a clean background to it if that makes sense really nice well I like it, it? so here we go I haven't you can add a good bit of water to this I haven't um, rinsed that pre-shaved soap off that's good so I hope you're having some good shaves if you're having any you're in good health I hope the weather's not disturbing your life in too much of any way it's been a we've had a few trees down in north wales and um i haven't seen some i haven't seen very big trees down but some uh one road was blocked i was working driving along in work and um i took a round obviously but uh right first pass rockwell 6c plate 4 with a feather high stainless double edged blade fourth use and that is slick wow in fact I'm glad I didn't go with this number three really because this is very very slick even with a feather in it well granted it's on its uh, fourth use but Wow, that feels lovely. A few extra whiskers in this. Here. We've had to try and keep everything that uh, is blowable <laughs> out the way. But, uh, I'm not sure if you feed the birds in your home, but well, not in your home, in the garden. But um, we put some. Suet and fat balls, uh, little mealworms, seeds, suet pellets, and uh, lots of the little birds, the sparrows, and things. There's a few starlings that, um, and they've been tucking in. Wow, this is that pre shave is, I can still feel it on the base there, really good. Glice. Lovely. I'm gonna add a touch of water. Mmm. And now uh, they've been really going in the feet. Um, I mean, really eating it. You know, it doesn't last every sort of. Uh, oh, I'd say five. Five hours we have to refill it but um, 
you'd think in this stormy weather they wouldn't come out but they've been they luckily it's a big bush so they can all go inside and then when they want to feed they jump out have a quick feed and jump back in <laughs> hardy little things nature amazing isn't it This is a very comfortable shave. The razor is nicely balanced. Quite heavy, but not the heaviest. Not, it's nowhere near a Merca Future, shall we say. Um, wow. That blade feels so good. Across the across the growth and then across here. That is nice. So, exceptional slickness, and that would be due to using the, as I say, this Gleiss um, shaving, what's it called? Spiced citrus oil soap, yeah. So, it's the oil that's in it, making it go back to the water again. So you don't need much soap or cream. I've used too much there. I could have used half of that because you can just add water to this and it seems to do even better each time. But when you haven't used soaps or creams for many months or years, you forget, don't you? Um, you know you like them or they work well. Sometimes you can't remember the exact reason why they work well. Or... I think a lot of these storms have come over from the USA, haven't they, from the States, across the pond. They've obviously come from somewhere else to the States and then through the States and across the pond over to us and then they leave us and go off to, I'm not sure which way they're heading, but unless they just, I don't know whether they'll build up as they leave here or they'll die off, I'm not sure. Absolutely stunning. Very happy with that. I 
bit that I caught a glimpse of the claret then. Maybe, I don't know, I didn't feel it, if it is. Wow, slick. Oh, well, you know what it is now. Slick time, baby. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. This is nice. As I say, it's got the citrus. It is citrusy. I'm not actually picking orange. It's the amber, maybe in the background. Orange and amber. But I am... Picking this, this is like a clean scent behind it. Really nice. Pick, I have, yeah, look, see that. I love that sound. That is lovely, just a good test for the slickness. Oh yeah, listen to that. That's really down to the Boom. Lovely, right. Cold water rinse. Good. Tulips. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, that is nice. Beautiful. Right, okay. I'm not going to use witch hazel or alum. Why not? Well, <laughs> I'm going to use this Lucky Tiger, and anybody knows this stuff. It has a tonic in it, which is a bit oily as well. Plus, I've used this pre-shave, which is quite oily. Really good slickness. So, this has a lovely... It's called um, Aftershave Face Tonic. And can I, what's it called? Uh, aloe vera, calendula, and chamomile. And for my nose, when you put them together, it's like an orange zest. Yeah, you can feel that smoothness, like an oil in it. So that is nice. Mm. A sniffed of that. Good. That is nice. Okay. And then we'll use this Boots uh, Essentials Moisturising Cream. And use that for a while. Yeah, typical. We need a bit of protection in this uh, wind, this strong gusts. Yeah, as I say, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're safe. That is lovely. That's a bit of a cross between Arco and Nivea in a way because um, you have to work it in.
good stuff, good winter on her. And now that's it, I'll leave you in peace. So first of all we've used this uh, this glyce, like a transparent soap isn't it? Um, Pre-shave, it's got like a citrus, citrus oil soap. Very good slickness, it seems to cling to the skin throughout the shave really, the three passes. Uh, and then we've used the Musco Real Orange Amber Shaving Cream, lovely. Citrus scent with a clean background for my, this is my own personal uh, taste, should we call it. And we've used the Rockwell 6C uh, num plate number four, really nice, with a feather high stainless fourth use, that's good. Number four plate, fourth use blade, really nice, no signs of anything going wrong with that, very smooth and very um, precise, should we say. Fine lather bowl, porcelain, water to rinse, we haven't used, as I say, no witch hazel or any alum, but we've used the Lucky Tiger aftershave face tonic, orange scent, zesty scent, uh, really nice, and then this, uh, uh, very, I forgot how good this is, this um, moisturising cream from Boots, really good. And that's it, midweek, ready for the storm. So I hope you have a fantastic shave if you have one. Great week, stay happy and safe. <laughs> and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. So thanks again for joining me for your company and your comments. And um, I'll see you then. All the best and bye-bye.